feel my leg and my arm, even my fingers. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, young and old, boys and girls, grandmas and grandpas, fathers and daughters? We are here uh, today. I've got a pretty cool video for you guys today. I uh, recently uh, had come up with a team in Arena uh, that seems to always win on offense. It's the best team that I've ever used. A lot of people had asked me for a variant that did not consist of using Phoenix. And I am pleased to tell you guys that I have found a team that does not lose on offense against Phoenix teams, against Ultron teams, against whatever, whatever this team works the same as the other team that I showed you guys, but it has no Phoenix in it, no Phoenix. So this video today is going to be, as you guessed it, how to always win an arena, but without Phoenix. Let's do it! Make sure you guys follow on Twitch. Link is in the description below. This team you're about to see is something else. Uh, I found this a little while ago, a couple days ago. I wanted to do a bit more testing before I shared it with you guys because I didn't want to put out anything like clickbaity or like fake or weird. So here it is, this is this team. You can do it. You can beat these hard, hard meta teams. So this is the team, right? So a lot of times with these teams, you do still have to have Ultron. That is, you have to have Ultron. If you don't have Ultron, it's not gonna work. I'm just gonna let you know that now. Um, but Rhino, a lot of times with these teams, what gets you messed up is Magneto because he'll blind you and then it just messes everything up. Well, with Rhino, if you know anything about him, he cannot be blinded. So I think a lot of people, uh, a lot of people use this team, or at least they're familiar with it. I know a lot of people talk about Rhino being the counter to Magneto, but I've never seen a combination like this. I've never seen anybody use this combo uh, in place of Phoenix. So you can, it works just the same, I'll show you. We've gotta obviously pick somebody with Magneto. So let's see, all right. We'll go with this one. It also has Drax, which makes it double annoying. As you can see, my team is not that strong because my Rhino is only 28,000. He's just there to make sure the blind gets clear. All right, we're in here. Just watch this. You ready? Okay, look, watch this. Oh, guess what? Oh, sorry. There you go. Look at that. Good to go. So now you can pretty much do whatever. Uh, he's not, there's really no other point for him to be here. So, I mean, you can make him taunt just so that some of the damage is mitigated away. Um, but pretty much at this point, it's kind of obviously a weird situation because you want to regularly disrupt Ultron, but you can't. So we're gonna, it's kind of hard to do. There's nothing really you can do here except just try and go into it. Again, these Drax battles are kind of weird. So I'm gonna show you kind of a standard battle, of course, after this one, um, just because it's like, uh, it's, it's a lot different. I've actually never fought Pyro before either. So that's actually pretty interesting. Um, which leads me to think I should have saved Rhino's Taunt because it could have cleared off all of these bleeds. But hey, it is what it is. We'll make it happen. We'll make it work. Should still be fine. Again, the blind is what really can mess this team up. So, all right, no big deal. It's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. So we can target Ultron. Just go ahead and do this. Get to hit those minions. Yeah, so that's really nice too. The other thing that's nice about having Magneto is that when it pulls everybody together, he then uses that attack and he just hits everybody who's adjacent, um, which is pretty awesome. So there you go. Look at that. Biggest threat out of there. No big deal. Okay. So easy. Um, we're just going to kill him. Not really. Like I said, not a big deal. We lost Juggernaut, but that, again, doesn't really matter. Um, we'll do this. It's probably going to kill Phoenix, but that'll be okay. All right, now we got to keep hammering away here. But again, no big deal. I assume that Drax is going to try and taunt because he didn't last time. So we'll disrupt him. Can get some summons going. This match is, I mean, it's already over. Um, again, as soon as you take down Ultron, the match is over. So <clears throat> that attack is scary, but as long as Ultron doesn't die, it doesn't matter. So and then he had death proof, so. Can rest easy. So look, easy. We beat that. Simple. You know what I'm saying? And I misplayed. So it's simple. No Phoenix. So one thing I do want to point out here while we wait, because I don't have any cores and uh, I need cores. So I've been testing this extensively. 
Um, so I've kind of used up all my core supply there, but uh, no big deal. Um, but what you can see, it's interesting. It seems like a lot of people are, um, they're just like using different variants of these teams now. Like I've actually never seen these teams before. Like uh, this one, I don't remember recognizing, but that's just your standard X-Men. And you got another X-Men with Captain Marvel. And then this one, I don't know what this team is. I've never seen a team like this before. I don't know how that will work. I mean, I'm sure it's tough because he's ranked 25, but I've never seen anything like that before. Um, this one, this dude just says seven red star punisher, um, but you got X-Men, you know, so this is a team like, this is what that's actually not what I'm using, but, uh, I know it's pretty standard. I see that one a lot. Another way, this is another team that you can use. Sometimes it works, um, but you need Phoenix. Um, if you don't have Phoenix, it doesn't work because you have to have something to clear the blind or you waste a turn and then they just mess you up. So while we're waiting, I did just want to give you a quick peek at my team, just in case you have not watched uh, the other videos. Um, so this is my team, uh, Magneto, tier 13, uh, five red star. I don't really think, I don't know if that's necessary. I don't think either of his T4s are necessary. I mean, maybe to compete at the higher levels. I don't think those are necessary, but I have them. Level 70, really strong character, seven star. But I think that this could work uh, maybe with uh, probably... It's kind of hard to say, right? Because this is good. This little extra bit is good, but I don't know. Like, the extra max health is really good for him and for Juggernaut. So, I mean, it's not a ton, but it is some. I don't know if you need it, though. Um, it definitely helps, and that, of course, is, like, the staple of the Brotherhood team. So, I, I think that one's good to have, but I don't think you're dying to have it. This is uh, Juggernaut, uh, tier 13, 3 red star, uh, 7 gold star, level 70. Uh, no T4s on him. Uh, the, the original team that I showed you guys... Uh, that could beat, that could win consistently, that had Juggernaut on it. I did not have him at tier 13 at the time. I think I meant at tier 11, but I brought him up when I saw how good the team was. So I don't think you need tier 13, but again, uh, I use it because it just seems to work. You know what I'm saying? It, it just, why would I not take it up? Then in, uh, again, we have Vision. Uh, T4s on his basic. I don't know. I don't think you need those for this team at all. Uh, five red star, two, uh, seven gold star. I don't think you, you don't need all of that. All that he does is ability block. You'll see later. I mean, the only point of having Vision in this team is so he can do the ability block on uh, Ultron. And that's, it's simple. So that's the point of him. That's why he's there. Ultron, of course, uh, maxed out. I, I think all these T4s are necessary. Uh, maybe not like necessary, necessary, but they're, you need them. Uh, again, tier 13. And then the wild card. We got our boy Rhino. So, <laughs> you know, oddly enough, uh, so he's level 65, tier 9, uh, no T4s, um, <laughs> three red star, five gold star. All you need is this. This is what you need. That is literally all you need is to just clear the blind. And that's, I mean, that's all it is. So he gets blinded, everybody gets put together, pff, cleared. That's what you need. If you're really thinking about it, some like, you know, some big forehead plays that you can use is um, if you're facing like a Brotherhood team that has Pyro in it again, you could save the taunt for later on. So you don't want to necessarily first turn his taunt because if they're playing a Pyro, blast everybody with uh, the burns or bleeds or whatever, you could then use this next turn and it'll clear them all off. I mean, it's just, those are just some plays. I mean, it doesn't. You don't have to do that, but that's kind of what I think. But I mean, yeah, like no T4s, no anything. I mean, he is literally just there to clear the blinds off of you and you're just good to go. He is awesome for that. I'm thinking about powering mine up a bit more because I do want to try it on defense. I don't know how people would handle it on defense, but uh, I'm not quite there yet. Um, but I am going to try that eventually. Maybe I'll make a video later, see how it handles on defense and uh, go from there. It will be a unique team so i assume that people are going to more attack it um i feel like that's what often happens is that when teams are unique you attack them yeah i mean i'm kind of that way too because you just want to see like oh can i beat this you know because it's different it seems like all of the magneto teams have or all of these teams don't have magneto i don't know why uh, magneto is awesome for this combo uh, but they've all got tracks and other weird stuff we're just going to play this team because it's just the top one there. Uh, Rhino's not gonna really matter in this match, but we'll keep him in anyways. We could honestly probably take him out and still win, but it won't let you do that. So we'll keep him in uh, just to kind of show. I mean, it just kind of shows off the rest of the team's combo. You know what I mean? Just goes to show the rest of the team's power to put in a character that doesn't really matter. And so Phoenix is just really good. I mean, she's obviously very good no matter what, but she's really good for countering Magneto. That's 
what she does well, at least in this meta. And so, but again, not having her doesn't mean you're necessarily screwed. Um, and I hope that this video shows you that. I hope that this video helps a lot of people out. That way, like, I mean, I don't know. Hopefully this helps you guys out. I mean, share it with your friends, share it with people that you know who are like trying to figure out what the heck to do without Phoenix. I mean, Phoenix is coming back soon, but I know a lot of people are so far away from Phoenix. Maybe this will stop people from spending money on stuff. I mean, to be honest, that's kind of, I mean, I'm happy to, I'm, I hope that I can help people not spend money on stuff um, because you don't, you don't need to, you know, there's ways to figure this stuff out. So I'm figuring this out for you. I'm sharing it with you. And uh, like I said, hope it helps. Uh, show this video with your friends, your neighbors, your, your grandmother, your brother, your sister, your father, just share it with everybody. Um, that way that we can get it out there, get this info out um, so that can help a lot of people out. We're just going at this. This is really easy. Um, it'll be fine. Uh, Minerva's going to revive Ultron, but it's not going to matter. So we have enough minions out at this point that it, it just does not matter. Um, let's use this. We got a lot of charge. So yeah, it doesn't matter the amount of minions we have out right now. See, Juggernaut can be pretty annoying sometimes. That is the one thing that Phoenix is pretty good for is clearing uh, taunts and stuff. I mean, she obviously can with her basic and then with her alts and stuff, but it's not the end of the world. So we'll be fine here. It's going to kill the minions, but we again still have enough out that we'll be just fine. So we'll blast him. I'll get him out of here. And we got to get our girl Minerva out of here because she's causing some ruckus. All right, see you later. Uh, we'll ignore Phoenix now because since she just used her big move, she's really not a threat anymore. Uh, get Ultron out of there. And then, voila. Oh, sorry. Voila. <laughs> Easy. Rhino didn't do anything. So this one's pretty interesting. Um, we'll take it on. Um, we'll be able to show off Rhino, I think, in two ways because he'll clear the blinds and then hopefully we can use him to clear the, uh, the bleeds as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll do this one. All right. All right, go ahead. No big deal. Now, so like I said, we're not. We're gonna do this. Because we don't wanna use that other ability just yet. That really, again, it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> I imagine that ability probably does more damage later on, um, but it does like next to nothing right now. So, all right, cool. Easy peasy, this is going exactly as planned. Um, I don't know, Rhino might die to be honest, but again, he's done his job. Um, but if, yeah, okay, it's fine. He did what he needed to do, and so we're good. And actually, the way that they, like, made us all adjacent, they kind of, like, it got kind of effed up. So that's fine. That's good. That's positive. So, again, I mean, Pyro kind of throws a bit of a wrench in there. Um, I haven't really fought him before, uh, much at least. And so that's kind of, like, weird the way that he did that. But it's not really the end of the world here. Um, it is kind of hard. The one thing I will say, uh, Colossus becomes a little bit harder when you don't have Phoenix on your team. Um, he's not impossible as long as you have Ultron, but he does become a bit harder. So that is a heads up. Um, if your Ultron isn't maxed out, you're probably going to struggle. You really, really, what you have to do, you have to control Phoenix. Um, you can't, if you, either you take her out immediately or you just, you don't bring out Dark Phoenix until the end. Because otherwise you're going to be in trouble, um, because she will wreak havoc on you. Like right now, she's not really causing me any trouble. Um, she's no big deal right now, but the fact is is that if I had killed her earlier and brought out Dark Phoenix as I've been stuck behind this Colossus taunt the entire time, that would have been really ugly for me and just overall been very bad, um, and she would have just torn me up. So we'll get Colossus out of here. Um, we'll just take him out. Um, so he's gone, and we'll just slowly take out Pyro. Um, again, it's not really a rush. Uh, Phoenix is controlled. And we've got our squad left. We've got minions summoned. This is how you beat these teams. Um, and it's it works. So we're going to kill her now, but not a big deal. This is the fine time to go ahead and take care of that. And then, uh, yeah, so this is a, it's a win right there. No big deal. I mean, she restored her whole health bar, which is super annoying, but <laughs> she's dead. So I guess it, it is what it is. We'll summon some more minions just to finish it off. Get that turn meter removed. Blaster. Boom, 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 bing, bong, boom, bomb. There you go. See, it's just, we did it. How you like that, guys? How you like that? This team, like I said, beat Phoenix, Ultron, whatever teams without Phoenix. This team does a trick. 
Um, it's kind of crazy to think that if the other team is not even using Magneto, you can use Juggernaut, Ultron, Vision, and Magneto. You don't even need a fifth person. So maybe we'll do another video of that later, testing it with just the four of them um, because I'm out of turns for Arena today. But uh, maybe what we can do is <laughs> just straight up put my weakest character, which I think is uh, the thing right now, and just put the thing in in the middle slot and just test. I think he's like 176 power or something. So we could test it and just see if they can win 4v5. I'm pretty sure that they can. So that said, guys, hopefully um, this helps you out. Um, it should. I'm hoping it does. Uh, so like I said, like, share, subscribe. We are like right on the pinnacle of 3,000. Probably by the time that most of you guys are watching this, it'll be 3,000. So quick shout out to everyone who supported me over the past uh, while that we've been doing videos. It's very exciting. 3,000 is awesome. I thought I was going to get like 10 people to sub to my channel and that would be it. So three whole thousand people. I don't even know 3,000 people. I mean, I guess who does, but... It's pretty exciting. So I'm ranting, but it's just because I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm thankful. So thank you guys for the support. Uh, much love. I hope that I can continue to put out content that you like, enjoy, and have fun with. So that's it. Bye, guys. Peace out. Much love. Thank you.